Hi cutie beauties! I'm going to give uh, my opinion about the living proof shampoo conditioner and hair products. Let's get started with this detoxifying shampoo which I really liked it. Uh, the ingredient was the uh, active charcoal and I do have the ingredient list here for myself to read it for you. It has the uh, gentle surfactant that the one that goes and takes away the buildup from your skin which I really like this one. The color was like the charcoal, like the dark gray. And I got the mini size one. Probably it was like I purchased it and they put it as a sample for me, but I used it a few times and I really liked it. And then it's a uh, shampoo, which I almost finished it. There's nothing left in this one. It's a high grade perfect uh, shampoo from the perfect line and it has the uh, honestly and uh, it lather enough you can use it on a daily basis if you have the like if you sweat a lot or you do the exercise or if you want to use the shampoo on a daily basis and about the conditioner conditioner was also super moisturizing the ingredient i'm going to tell you it has a hopo bester and it has a castor oil which i love the castor oil is super moisturizing and it has the sunflower and glycerin which all of these are super moisturizing for your hair i don't apply it on my scalp i just put it on the length and about the hair mask i do have the ingredient probably here somewhere where is it about the hair mask interesting detox shampoo day perfect hair conditioner okay the ingredient for the mask was pretty similar to the conditioner it was super moisturizing and you can go either with the mask or conditioner if you don't have time to put it for a few minutes and leave it on you can just use the conditioner and uh, it has the jojoba oil as well it has the uh, sunflower the ingredient was pretty similar to conditioner but the consistency is more thicker i leave it usually for two three minutes but if you can leave it for longer it would be better other one i'm going to talk about is no freeze styling serum which mostly the oil base but is not that strong oil base it's a smooth styling serum anti-freeze ingredient was uh, fruit oil, sunflower oil, it was the cocoa, it was the uh, watermelon oil. I didn't know the watermelon has oil, by the way. And it has the uh, whole buster, which I love it, and a bunch of other oils, which is super nourishing for the hair. I use it on my damn hair, honestly, and it was decent, honestly. I mean, it was okay. And about this one, which I am obsessed with this one. It's very small, but it did a good job. So about this triple bond complex leave-in uh, treatment, it has the olive leaf extract, it has a sunflower, it has a complex leave-in treatment, it has the olive extract, it has a jojoba oil, it has a sunflower, it has a dimeticin, and it has a triglyceride and castor oil which were like super gooper nourishing. I use it on my damn hair after shower and I a little bit like the uh, dried my hair with the towel, like a towel dried and apply it every section of my hair with this one, which I'm obsessed. This one was really good. Oopsie. And another one, we are going to talk about... Uh, Defreeze hair spray, if I'm not wrong. Where is it? Defreeze hair spray. Oh, it's this one. Defreeze hair spray. This takes away the freezes from your hair. I didn't see any improvement to my hair freezes. I got a mini size. I'm so happy I got just a mini size. The ingredient was also like the uh, seed extract and glycerol. It has the starch, artichoke leaf extract, these kind of the things through the extract 
I mean, these are super nourishing, but it didn't work on my hair. It didn't take away the frizzes from my hair, but it was super light and it doesn't make your hair sticky at all. About the uh, these flex hairspray, it's super strong. This one actually takes away the frizzes, but yes, it makes your hair a little bit, a little bit tiny bit dry and a little bit sticky, but it does its jobs. Before I had the big size, but unfortunately, for some reason, it got exploded. <laughs> it was the liquid. I couldn't use it as a spray in my hair, but now I have a mini, which is really good. And about this heat protection perfecting hair spray, it's more like the milky water. It's a little bit heavy spray. It's not the lightest spray, but it doesn't make your hair greasy. And it's really good. It worked on my hair as a... Um, like a uh, heating protection you should shake it pretty well and then apply it and the last one is a living pro perfect hair day dry shampoo i really like this light shampoo it doesn't put any like the white residue on my hair and it really takes away the shine as well the smells is a little bit strong for me um sometimes i have a heart feel to breathe but it's a sweat proof and also uh, eliminate all the oil and everything from your scalp. They do have a stronger one, but I prefer this one, which was like, okay for me. And what else left here? Do I talked about, did I talked about uh, this hair oil? Yeah, this is a vanishing oil, stop freeze and add healthy shine. Yes, it adds shine, but it didn't stop the frizz from my hair. It has a fruit oil, it's sunflower, cocoa, watermelon oil the same ingredient probably as the other one and it was pretty decent it was just a hair oil and i use it like a few drops all over my length so i didn't see any result with this one honestly but generally the shampoo conditioner and hair mask were like really okay on my hair but my favorite one was obviously the living proof triple bond complex i really like this one and uh, if i want, want to pick another one maybe i Pick the uh, clarifying shampoo and the dry shampoo. These are my favorites. And these are mostly for the thick to medium hair, which I don't have it. Have a good day. See you in the next one.